Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdom video. My name is Legend Ronnie and today we have the preparation for war for my alt account. People, please. You are probably wondering, hey, but what does a war preparation video what does that mean? What are you going to do? So I showed you at the beginning of the video the 1,300 sculptures that I have right now. So obviously I'm going to go and invest some of them or most of them or you never know all of them <laughs> in commanders. So I can prepare because we have the level 4 pass opening which is the zone 5 in Heroic Hunt and I'm gonna get my field fighting marches ready for war. Before we go any further into the video I wanna give a big shout out to Kingdom 1782 so make no mistakes Kingdom 1782 because with my alt account I'm in 1682 they are recruiting so if you're interested into a kingdom that is very well established they won kvk4 which is the season of conquest because that's what they are doing which means that they have a great deal about season of conquest you definitely want to contact the commando from the alliance eb82 from what he has told me the kingdom is being governed by two main alliances and they have some really really juicy players in this alliance so they are definitely ready for season of conquest if you want more question you definitely want to ask desert commando you want to private message him so you can get more information regarding this going through the alliance members there is a couple of juicy juicy players that you can pick on and there's definitely a lot of spending that is going on in this kingdom as well for some of you that are probably wondering if there's gonna be like enough gold chest or if there's gonna be enough speed ups that you will be able to make for kvk because that can be a very main concern for a lot of players right because if you don't have speed ups you won't be able to keep emptying your hospital and even a 400 million power player so which means that they definitely have the firepower because if you don't know in season of conquest to take down flags you need a lot of these players some high power players that are able to fully reinforce flags or swarm flags because that is the way flags go down in season of conquest and i want to give you a very good reason why you should contact or why you should try out this kingdom is because they care a lot about the kingdom either through to publicity ads or whichever other means necessary and available they care about the health of the kingdom they care about the growth of the kingdom because that is one of the most important part in a leadership in a kingdom regarding the mges he told me that uh, most of them are fixed because um, either based on contribution or what the kingdom needs for example like you have a monitor or you have pakal or you have whichever other commander that might be needed either for rallying or for garrison into the kvk so you want to make sure that the key players in the kingdom they have those for either garrisoning or rallying but more information you want to contact desert commando from eb82 alliance and he will definitely fill you in with any questions and doubts you have now there's gonna be some chest openings not a whole lot of chest these three types of chests are from heroic anthem from the caves so i'm pretty sure probably some of you want to know what exactly these caves give you in heroic anthem now i want to give you a tip regarding scouting the map because i still have like a tiny bit left i'm not sure like 15 percent or something is this bit and there is another bit somewhere else so let me just go ahead and uh, explore and if you go onto your exploration report, you have Mysterious Cave. So you click on that one, you click on the cave, you click investigate, and then you click send. Now you're probably noticing that this scout is already exploring fog. So if I send into this cave, he's gonna go take the cave. But after that, he's going to resume his previous fog exploration. So this is a very nice trick. So you can go and do the caves and the fog in the same time i've showed this in a couple of my other videos as well but you never know a refreshing will definitely help you out and now let me just open those chests but the whole point is that it's some free stuff and you do this in the same time you're exploring the fog because everyone wants to explore the fog so they can see the map or at least to see where the action is so if i go into the other let's open the level one treasure cave open them all so 
next to nothing resources um, 16,000 crystal keys 300 gems that's a big joke 500 action points and a little bit of speed ups so it's not a whole lot in them but still it's something right because all these small things in the end they add up they pile up especially if you're not spending so anything that that is free stuff is free stuff now let me just go ahead and open the other ones 41 level 2 so these ones are a little bit juicy not in resources but in action points and apparently a little bit of speed ups again 300 gems and 1700 vip points and then we have the treasure cave level 3 because these are the ones that should be the most exciting ones well let's find out and open all six gold keys 50,000 crystal a bunch of experience not a lot of vip why was the other one so rich in vip and this one wasn't but 3,000 action points so if you put it all together i think i got about 5,000 action points now with 5,000 action points as a free-to-play low spender if you know what to do with it you can get a lot of barbarians and this one gives you a thousand gems 900 to be more precise so that's 1500 gems that's a 50 percent expansion when you get into the merchant with 70 percent off so how about that i have 63 crusader supply chests because now you cannot donate as much as you want and there is more action points wow there's 3000 6000 action points i have so many action points to be honest yeah, these chests are so good. I remember when you were able to donate as much as you want using your gems. That was also really cool. Holy moly, scrap yoli, guys. <laughs> you will not believe what just happened. So I decided to open my 79 keys. And this is what just happened. I got a full blueprint of Iron's Choice. Now, how about that? First key that I opened, I got a full legendary blueprint. I had 79 keys, I opened the first keys, and I just got the blueprint. Wow, that's just speechless. I have no words about that. We also have the legendary tavern, so I'm definitely going to go ahead and spin the legendary tavern. But I want to show you another thing about the Wheel of Fortune. So because I forgot to summon a lot of commanders, in this Wheel of Fortune, I had Trajan, I had the new Archer Commander Gilgamesh, and I had YSS, which I forgot to summon him as well. And when we had the Cav Wheel, I forgot to summon William. And that's why I'm hoping to get it from the Legendary Tavern. But now to show you a trick, when you get a wheel and you're able to switch and get a lot of commanders. So what I have done, I started with the Gilgamesh. So if I go ahead and switch and I press confirm, you'll notice that the chest is changing to Gilgamesh. So I've done Gilgamesh until I got 10 sculptures. Then obviously I switched to Trajan because I needed Trajan. I got his sculptures and now I'm at chest 45, which grants me a guarantee 10 sculptures. But obviously I don't need Gilgamesh. I just need 10 sculptures of YSS. So all I have to do is just one spin and I will get 10 sculptures of YSS and I will be able to summon him. So let's go ahead. Let's do that spin and look at that, I even got an extra sculptures of him. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect it. And you get the 10 sculptures. So in 45 spins, I got 3 commanders unlocked. That's a great value. Alright, now it's time to play some legendary tavern. Let's see if I get William and... After that, I will decide which commander I'm going to go ahead and invest my sculpture in. I'm probably going to buy even the 40 keys from the VIP shop. But let's go first and pull. Man, I really hope I will be lucky. I mean, what are the chances to get a 10 pull William? <sighs> that, that would be crazy. That would be really madness if I get a 10 pull of that. So let's go ahead. Come on, give me a 10 pull no so he gave me genghis and ramses stuff that i don't care about 10 that's all i want just william just give me william <laughs> man i'm i that's no way how to express myself how sad i feel that i didn't unlock william and the reason i didn't was because we got the new inventory guy so when the MG came out, I knew it's fixed and, and something like that. And I saw on the wheel, it was um, CJ. And I was like, what am I going to do with this guy? I was just doing the free spin. And I think I've done the half um, price or just the free spin. Well, I could have just switched and get my William. And I didn't. 
Come on, be the lucky one. Ten pull William. Two Alexes and a Saladin. Those coins are not bad because I can buy more gold heads from that shop. Even though you've probably seen that many other YouTubers advising you to buy the keys, I would advise you to buy the Universal Sculpture first. Why? Because these are Universal Sculptures that you use them on the commander that you want. Why try yourself and buy more keys for random stuff? Mm, nope. <laughs> no, thank you. So 40 keys and I didn't even have a 10 pool. Honestly, that feels pretty bad and, and sad in the same time. So this is the last 10 pool. Come on, hit me with something. Which is better than nothing. So if we click plus, we go to the VIP shop. Yeah, I'm just going to go 40. All right, for the purpose of the video, let's go ahead. 40 more. So 50 keys, no 10 pull. Let's go 10 more. Not even after I spend gems. Goddamn RNG. Guys, the legendary tavern is rigged. Don't play the legendary tavern. Use your free keys and that's it. <laughs> when I played this on my main, even on open one, I got 10 pull. Maybe should have done that. Should have just opened one by one. Probably would have had a better chance. Well, I started with 10 pulls. Let's go with 10 pulls. And oh my god. All right, game has been refreshed and we have the last 20 pulls. Let's see if that is going to change anything. Nope, that didn't change anything. Let's see how this one is going to be. And no 10 pull. I got Nebuchadnezzar and Alex, Tio and Cyrus. Yeah, that's pretty rigged. Now let's see if I click plus, if I go to the shop. I could buy 12 more keys so I could try my luck with another 10 keys to get some random stuff. Or I could just simply get 5 sculptures and be the end of it. Now I'm going to decide that later because I still need 110 just to be able to unlock my William. So I'll have to do my marches and I'll have to do my setup without William. Because I didn't unlock him when we had the cav wheel. So it is what it is. Reader of History, one of the best buy bundles. Right now, so many commanders, so many commanders to pick from, including Gilgamesh. Hmm. <laughs> that's, my, that's looking very interesting, isn't it? But now I'm not investing in Gilgamesh. So my current marches for field that I have is Guan and Alex, Nebu with YSG, and I got Sardin with Aetherfled. I want to put Aetherfleet with someone else, someone more consistent or someone that provides a little bit more benefits. But who am I going to pair Saladin with? My double C is not even max, although I don't believe in Sab Saladin and double C combo. Probably some had good results. I don't know. I'm just 29 sculptures away to max him. It might surprise you when I'm going to say this, but I plan to do Saladin and Babers. And you're probably wondering why. Why Ronnie? Why? Well, if you look at Baber's skill, he doesn't have any defense, right? He just has a very nice AOE, up to five targets, and then he has Cav attack, and then that's pretty much about it. <laughs> that's all he has, the first two skills. Or I could go with Mehmed, because Mehmed is the same thing as Baber's, except that Baber's does the AOE slow, so I kind of like that. To be very honest, on Babers, the AoE is slow. Or I could, and Mehmed does AoE as well, but his damage is being reduced by 15% for each additional target. These were my two options to put on Saladin. I was thinking maybe go with John of Arc as well, but I plan to invest in Trajan. So if I invest in Trajan, then why do I need John of Arc exactly? Saladin and Sansu sounds okay. But right now I'm investing in Trajan, so let's go ahead and let's skill him up, let's level him up, and uh, let's get this bad boy on the run. And there you have him, he's level 60, if you're interested how much I spent on him so far. It says over here, the star upgrade cost 435, that's pretty cheap, I think I was very lucky on the crits, I'm guessing. Four of those, two of those, yeah, that's very cheap, must have been some crazy luck. Level up cost. Now, this is pretty interesting. It says 50,000 of these, but I use a lot of the 100 ones. So why aren't those counted up or is just making the sum on the 1000? Let's go on to his skills and um, 
We need to do something because I'm not max kill him. Yes, that's exactly. So I need to lock skill because I only need his second and third max out. I mean, Trajan was a beast since he came out. I saw his skills and I was like, that's it. This is gonna be the one commander I want on both of my accounts. He's really a beast, not even expertise. So 5551 Trajan, he's so good. I had in mind to do a 5511 Artemisia and invest on Tomiris. I have Tomiris somewhere over here. Invest on Tomiris as well because I have a skill reset. So the plan was to try to get the four skill of Tomiris. Like if I can get a 5115 Tomiris, I mean, I'll be very happy. But in the same time, I want to invest in Guan Yu. And I was thinking to use my reset skill to get a 5155 Guan, but I also have a coin, which would make a lot of sense to max skill Guan. Although I want to invest in William, so my sculptures are pretty limited. 956 right now. So if I do a 5511 Artemisia, that means that I want to bring a fifth march out. And I already have the gear for a second archer march, just to put it out there. Not very happy about it. So I think I might just go invest in Guan and then save the rest of the sculptures for when I unlock William. Because I don't mind max kill William. I'm gonna be very honest. Let's see how many sculptures I have of him. Just one. Yeah, and I could have unlocked C as well. Man, I feel so, so horrible. Really, that's 20% defense that you get on up to five marches when he's uh, hitting multiple targets. So I would definitely want to have that on my marches. Extra defense. That's just so dope. I was also thinking to save sculptures for YSS because as you all know, I got Zenobia, so I could do Zenobia YSS, but now with Ramses and, and the Gilgamesh or Gilgamesh and Nebu or whichever combo is taking down Zenobia, I'm having second thoughts. I really don't want to invest in YSS at this point. I'm also not VIP 17. What much more can I do in Garrison? Let's go ahead and let's invest some sculptures in Guan Yu. Let's see how lucky I am with the skills. I definitely want to put more skills on him, even though FYI, he is a beast, 5111. But as a 5111 commander, he is really good. I I am speechless about the commander, how good he is as a 5111. So he deserves more love, especially his third and fourth skill. Now, if there is a lot of skills going on his second, I will see what I'm going to do because I have resets i have four resets so let's go ahead and let's get a few more skills in go it, it went straight on the second you gotta be shitting me that was such a bad start look it went on the second as well it went on oh my god this 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 is horrible look it it maxed the second skill you you gotta be yeah th this system is so bad like you can't even choose the skills you want to work on so i got a five five one five guan yu <laughs> what the hell and you want to know something i don't think i'm gonna reset him i mean infantry attack is it doesn't matter to be honest 20 percent infantry attack i don't care about that on him and then infantry march speed i would probably care about that another 12 percent march speed healing factor again not very interesting so i don't think it's worth it to reset because basically what i want is the additional damage this is what I wanted from him, and I got it. So now I got four solid marches for field. I want to give some love for some epic commanders. At least I'm still using one epic commander. How about that? So that's going to be my five pre-setups. Um, I'm going to keep Zenobia because I have a spare infantry equipment. You probably saw my Goan has some legendaries and all that. So if I need, if, if like we don't have a garrison somewhere... I can immediately send my Zenobia, that's why she is with 100,000 troops. Um, at least it's better than nothing, better than having a Frederick, a Charles Martel, or whatever other silly marchers. So I have a spare equipment with some epics and um, just put Zenobia and Wu in the flag and will definitely do much better. And I forgot to open 15 of these and I got 15 crystal keys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one or on the live stream. We're probably going to meet there. Until next time, this is your buddy Geroni signing off.
Peace out, yo, and take care. See you on the next one, and stay safe out there, my friends. Thank <laughs> you.